We're broadcasting from b and Spring Stadium in Baltimore, Scaryland. There's some history behind this team, Bricks. 23 years ago, the original Leveland Burns snuck out of Leveland, leaving their fans heartbroken. They relocated to Baltimore and renamed themselves the Razors. But they were based in Leveland, Grim. I can completely understand the move. Both teams hit the field, ready to hit each other in this NFL matchup. The insane Colts go up against the Baltimore Razors. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yeah, man, the team's on the now. You know what I mean? Welcome to MFL Sunday School, where the good playbook teaches it's an eye for no reason, a tooth for an eight ball, and a limb for just looking at me the wrong way. MFL game day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow, my partner's Bricks and Bricks Jr. Hey man, these guys flat out want to kill each other today. Yeah, these are the kind of games families come out to see. It's good for the sport. You know what I like about this home team is 90% of them were born criminally insane. You can't teach that. Friends was an all pro NFL hit. Second down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, eight. And the defense was reading him like a book. He could be, he might be, he is gone. He is not coming back. First and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot. Oh, the quarterback said they'd blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. That'll bring up third down. And the defense jumps outside. If this guy could talk before he died, what do you think he'd be saying, Bricks? Psycho killer! Just to say, what the fuck, 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 fuck! And it's first and ten. And that's how you get your buzz on in the NFL. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. First down and inches. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Second.
right down and long. And that's another pick. Man, oh man. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Second down in a very lot. Defense goes more speed, and the defense gets the quarterback for a sack. Point. And a well placed cleat. Second down and more than the QB would like. And they'll line up for the punt here. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick like that. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. I, I I. That's a four-yard gain. Ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. <laughs> and it's first and ten. First and ten. Yeah. That pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, no. I got the hiccups again. What are you supposed to do to get rid of them again? You stick your head in a plastic bag, say the alphabet backwards while you set yourself on fire and jump out the window. Get out of he had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Third down and three. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. Bingo! Bingo! I 
just hit that mutant bingo. And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's first and ten. Went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grim. First down and seven. Second down and ten. Whose eyes the QB is using, but some new ones. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And they line up for the extra point. And he's off to... Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. The defense lost another line basher on that play, and only two remain on their roster. Their defense is getting very close to forfeiting this game. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. They've called a zap attack. And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, we're talking about points. The offense screwed up that play, Bricks. I had never had a chance, Grim. Never had a chance. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. And what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Right. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes a lick and it keeps 
keeps on ticking. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. Defense gives up five yards there. Second down and five. Man, he shoveled his feet so well on that play. He should go to lost wages and deal cards. First down. And it's first and ten. game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong-il. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Oh, hold everything. Looks like there's a penalty on the play. Yeah, you're game for I only be jealous. First down and five. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Third and two. That's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. And it's good. You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. First and ten. <laughs> Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Second down and six. And that was a bone crusher right there. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. And it's first and ten. Ah, and he laterals at the last. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of 
sounded like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Third down and six. He's got his beast boots working. The player, and that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Well, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. Nice catch, and he turns on the... Oh, what the brutal hit! And it's first and ten. and he picks up a new set of downs. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. There aren't too many players that kids can look up to at home. I'm glad one guy is stepping up. Well, he's stepping down. Oh, and he fumbles the ball on that hit. When you hurdle and get hit, chances for a fumble increase. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot... And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. And that's how you run the football. First down. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Glenn, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, the, the funeral expenses, that is. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Uh, Shaman Prince's his ex-girlfriend signal. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. And the hurry up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. play defense well, of course he he could have had an interception returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game but i don't want to nitpick does the qb know which team he's on i don't even know where i'm at don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking i mean when it oh no that was totally unnecessary <laughs> i gotta see that one again it was awesome in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the, the offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Time to see if this is an elite kicker. Can he kick through a cement wall? Eh, probably not, Bricks. Then he's not a lead. It's good. I'm a hot shell on shell. I am a hell on shell. The 
second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Win? A carnival? Yeah. Uh, uh, we're going to go to a strip show. Where are we going? <laughs> hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. And it's first and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. He is fighting for every... Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. It looks like we've got a penalty here. <laughs> the offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Nah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And it's first and ten. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stomp all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection, too. Weird side effect, Bricks. <laughs> this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and ten. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. First and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay it for the pick six. For this, you just give them a pat on the head and tell them they don't suck. Second down and ten. down and the punt and this guy looks like Thor on a revenge bender right now ah another interception geez you give this guy a bigger paycheck than everybody his cleats are caked in blood and guts and he's looking to score he's at the 40 the 30 he's at the 20 he's at the 10 he intercepted the QB's pass and returns it for a touchdown that's not just salt in the moon that's peeing in the ashes of the smoldering remains Truly a master poet, Grim. <laughs> well, little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. And the kicker just bit the dust on that play. Someone will have to call off the bench to replace him. Yard completion there. Hey, it ain't great if you don't score or move the chains. 
And that'll bring up second and one. And that's why they call it the money shot. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three. And the Baltimore Razors not only lose at home, they lose by forfeit. Man, that's double the humiliation. Like being rejected by a woman is also, well, fat. And let's go down to the field and hear the MVP. He's a real role model for the kids, Bricks. That is, if you want your kids to be a roid raging narcissist with uncontrollable verbal diarrhea. Oh, that personality disorder has a name. It's called autotropism. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every other.